Chinese Foreign Ministry says the upcoming strategic and economic dialogue will focus on strengthening mutual trust and discussing a bilateral investment treaty. The meeting on Wednesday and Thursday provides a forum for the world's two largest economies to manage their increasingly complex relationship. Zhang Ningni reports. Working towards closer cooperation while addressing differences, the upcoming strategic dialogue in Beijing will see Chinese Vice Premier Wang Yang and State Councillor Yang Jiechi discuss bilateral issues and common concerns with the U.S. co-chairs, Secretary of State John Kerry and Treasury Secretary Jacob Liu. China is committed to building a new type of major power relationship with the U.S. China is willing to work with the U.S. on issues ranging from trade and investment to climate change to intermilitary exchanges to international issues. On bilateral differences, China hopes the U.S. will respect China's sovereignty, respect China's socialist system, and not draw lines based on alliances or ideology. Relations have recently become increasingly fraught, with issues like China's maritime disputes and cybersecurity causing friction. In particular, China has called off its participation in the China-U.S. Cyber Working Group, which was set up during a previous strategic dialogue after five PRA officers were indicted on charges of hacking and economic espionage, charges that China has denounced. Cybersecurity is also one of the issues that we hope that uh, the United States will come up with an explanation as to its uh, uh, cyber uh, espionage activities uh, against China. On economic issues, the agenda will include talks on market access, the yuan's exchange rates and high-tech exports. Officials also expect to make a major headway on a bilateral investment treaty. Cumulative direct investments from both countries continues to grow even stronger making investment increasingly important to advancing cooperation between China and the U.S. China and the U.S. is set to launch negotiations on the bilateral investment treaty. Reaching a consensus in these negotiations would be a historic achievement that will benefit both countries and the world economy. Better relations can also be achieved by building greater understanding between the people of both countries. And so, Vice Educational Minister Hao Ping also announced that the fifth China-U.S. consultation on people-to-people -people exchanges will be held. Having been through an eventful year, China and the United States still highly value their bilateral relationship. The upcoming strategic and economic dialogue provides a platform for both sides to manage their difference and expand common interest. After all, it is cooperation rather than confrontation that benefits people of both countries. Zhang Yini, CCTV, Beijing.